Today I'm going to paint an apple with watercolor. First I use a kneaded eraser to pick up graphite on the surface. I only want a hint of these graphite lines to indicate where I will be painting. Then I apply a wash of one of my lighter colors, in this case yellow. The paint and water mix is a milky consistency. I don't put this color over the entire surface, rather just where I see yellow on the apple. Then where I see red, I apply red, or green, I apply green, and I block out these separate areas of color. I keep looking back and forth between the real apple in front of me and the drawing. These washes of color are very pale at first. I move around the image because I try to let the surface dry as much as possible before I touch it again with the brush. At this point, the form of the apple is beginning to take shape. It becomes more obvious where the highlight and shadow is. I keep building up layers of paint, being careful to let the layers underneath dry. By having lots of contrast in your image, you can get something to look very realistic. Putting cool colors in shadow areas can really help your image pop. So I feel the painting is complete when I have good form and highlights and darks um, and detail. And then I feel like it's done.